Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in yo life with some random games for the first time in a while. This and the other game we are playing today are low res demakes of games that you know well. Today's the first one is The Witness. Not the one that came out this winter, The Wit. Dot NES, and this is a demo. It's also an NES emulator. I am old enough to have been around for the original NES, and today we are going to play The Witness in its NES version. This is only the first level of the map, but uh, we are about to get started. All right, guys. So we uh, this is the beginning levels, and if you're not familiar, The Witness was a great uh, puzzle game from this summer that involved a lot of puzzles like this. Get from A to B. And that opens the door for us. So we're able to go through. Uh, I really wanted to play The Witness, but I emailed the developer and I didn't hear back about getting a, a Steam key for the game, which I understand. Uh, I'm a small time channel. Uh, I don't expect uh, everybody to be able to send me a copy of their game, but when it came out, it was $39.99, and it was around the same time Firewatch came out for 20 bucks. So I couldn't, I couldn't, it was too hard a choice to choose between the two. So I think what we have to do here, guys, is uh, get this first one here. And if we can do this one, now you'll see as we get uh, into these more complex ones, it, uh, I think with this one it doesn't matter which way I go to get to the finish. So that should open it up and you'll see that now sends whatever, that purple line over to this one, which once we unlock will send it in many new directions. Um, yeah, I really wanted to play this game guys, but it definitely wasn't the cheapest. Uh, and these puzzles get significantly harder and harder, but as far as I can tell the only difference between this version uh, the D-Make, made by somebody named Dustin Long, it's available for free on Itch.io. Uh, uh, this version has all the same puzzles. It's a tribute uh, and a sort of D-Make, a, a low-res version of the high-res game. Now, I imagine The Witness has better uh, graphics and cooler views, it seemed to, at least from its Steam uh, screenshots and the Let's Play that I watched. But here we go. Uh, follow this down to here and we're going to keep this going i'm not sure which path this is a different one than i did last time guys uh so with this uh with these dots they're going to flash if we got anything wrong and we didn't because i'm a genius but if you guys would like to play this there is a link in the description not just for this nes rom but for the emulator i'm using i'm using nestopia perfect i'm nailing it guys this is too easy uh, I'll keep this up, and eventually you're going to get to see me mess one up. We'll see. Let's go uh, this away. And these dots will flash if I get it wrong. God, I'm on a... Oh, there you go. Okay. So, I think that means that I took the wrong route through there. So, this would be the route? No, everything's wrong on that one. So, I'm just going to keep messing around until I find a way through here. Uh, let's try... Uh, this? No? Okay. How about this? I think this might be it. Yes, we've done it. Okay. So I'm going to just keep following these until we get to the end of this path. Now you can see they're getting more and more complicated. Lights will flash if I've taken an incorrect route to go past them. Uh, let's try it like that. A little convoluted. Everything flashing. Okay. How about uh, this? Everything flashing. Okay, I think I think it's only supposed to flash if I haven't taken the right route past. So it leads me to believe I need to go in sort of a more complex way past all these. Uh, you can't cross over yourself. You see, I hit right there like snake. Have I nailed it? No. Okay, so some of this is right. Let me play with this, guys. This might be it, if I've done it. No. Okay, I think then I just have to go down like this. Oh yeah. Uh, guys, I should say I've chosen not to use the sounds that come with this game. It's got some, but it's got what sounds a little bit like music, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my own 8-bit music. Not my own, but some that I have 
tracked down and sourced. Uh, this is the first time I've seen empty squares, and I don't know what that's gonna mean. All the green ones flashing. Okay, so let's try weaving in around the green ones and see what flashes at us this time. Try this. Everything flashing, okay. All right, guys, OUTC is totally stumped on this one, but I think I've given you enough of an example of what the wit.nes is all about. If you want to check it out, grab the emulator and the links uh, for the uh, NES ROM from the description, and uh, I have another awesome demake to show you. All right guys, this is Norman Sky. Not No Man's Sky, Norman Sky. And apparently, every pixelated star in this galaxy is one that we can reach. Uh, I'm still figuring out our controls here, but I'm trying to turn around and look at the planet we just left behind. Uh, never mind, let's power on to a nearby star and you see stuff whipping past us. Uh, not only can you visit every dot in that sky, and eventually reach it as a planet, but there is seamless transitions into the atmosphere. Now I have to admit the atmosphere is like 144, no not even, like 64 by 64 pixels. So I'm gonna just try and keep up the pace that I'm on. Oh god, we are going fast. It hasn't felt like a star has gotten close enough for us to, uh, to visit the atmosphere, but I am gonna fly until it has. Alright guys, I think I have figured it out. Let's go to hyperspeed, which I am about to do. And we're aiming for that big star right in the middle of your screen. And as soon as I get close enough, I'm going to hit the hyper break. Good lord, we'll see how well this works. Oh my god, that is a psychedelic pixel light show. Uh, we seem to be getting there. There are controls. Yes, you can control your pitch, your yaw, and your roll. With the arrow keys, you can control uh, where you're headed with W, A, S, and D. Uh, Z and X are altitude, which I don't think are that useful in space. So I'm just going to nose down towards this star. We're still in hyperspeed as far as I know. And this thing is getting ever and ever closer. I'm coming out of hyperspeed and I'm going to adjust our, our uh, angle. Maybe I'm still in hyperspeed. Okay, I'm gonna hit the hyper brake. Okay, and we are much, much closer to this thing. Let's see if I can't push forward into it. Let's hyperspeed a little bit. I can't, I can't do, use many controls while in hyperspeed. Uh, but this thing is getting ever, ever closer. I think, is that little speck of color up there a planet, hyper brake? So I don't go flying into the star. That little speck of color, what is that? This is kind of a cool concept, guys. Let's push towards it. Whatever it is, we are getting ever closer and you know what? I haven't figured out guys whether it's, yeah, that looks like a planet. That looks like a planet with just a crescent of light on it. We'll see, we are pushing straight towards it in hyperspace. The hyper break is supposed to allow you to achieve a stable planetary orbit. And once you have one, you are supposed to be able to push into, yeah, break, break, break. You're supposed to be able to push into the atmosphere of the planet, which is now directly in front of us. Let's see if I can't push into the atmosphere for a little seamless planetary transition. I know it's pixely, guys, but how cool. I think we're on the surface of the planet now. Yes, we are. Check this out. How cool is this? So this, guys, is Norman's Sky. Norman's Sky. 
Not sure who the creator of this game is. I haven't been able to track that down, but I believe uh, maybe his name's Norman. Who knows? But uh, this started as a game jam game. And uh, let's see, have I totally left orbit of that planet? I must have. I no longer see it. Okay. Cool. Well, guys, that, I think, is going to do it for my preview of Norman's Sky. Hopefully, you enjoyed the wit.nes as well. 